right, so in this video, I will be demonstrating how to create three of my favorite different types of flowers, all made from paper. So let's talk materials. For the small rosebud and the medium sized rose, I used this by the Paper Studio from Hobby Lobby. It's got six petals on it. And then I use this larger one from EK Success. This I purchased at Michael's. Now I'm sure you guys have a smaller size that will work better, but I will show you what I do to create the largest flower as well. You also need some scissors, a hot glue gun with a glue stick, and your choice of papers that you want to use for your flowers. I'm going to be using white, light pink, hot pink, and a super dark gray. And if you have a paintbrush laying around or even like this simple crochet tool, you can also use this as well. We're going to need to round our petals and you will need a pair of tweezers and an optional thing would be some paint. I'd like to show you how I smudge the paint on the flowers at the end. So here we go. So let's start with the largest flower first. Of course, you're going to need your big flower punch right here. Sizing of this is about two and a quarter inches. And we're also gonna need three of these pieces. Next step would be to stack these three small ones up and get your scissors and cut a slit up, but not all the way to the middle. So once you got that done, keep them stacked and take your little tool, whatever you want to use, and just place it in the center of one of the petals and just pinch it up like this and go around until you're finished with all of the different petals. Grab the small ones and the next step would be to take two on the opposite ends of each other and add some hot glue to the outer petal and just touch it with the other one and meet it in the center. Trying to keep them pretty level. And then go ahead and close up the other side, same way. and add some glue on the back of the bud that you just made. And we're going to stagger it. So the points are gonna be in the center of each petal. Add some glue at the very base of each petal. Just fold them up. And I pinch them tight like this. Then you do the same thing. You glue this to the back of your last small flower. Now you're just going to take the tweezers and pinch one of the petals and flip it outward. Got your three large flowers stacked up. Go ahead and grab your scissors. Since my punch is too big, I just kind of roughly take off some of the petals. Once you're finished cutting, go ahead and get your tool and pinch these up. We're gonna go ahead and glue them together now. So simply add some glue to one of them on the inside and stagger them just like this. Now you can come back and go ahead and curl them under. Now 
Then you would bring back your cute little rose that we made and glue this directly down onto the flower. Everyone's flowers are going to turn out different. No matter what we do, we may not be able to make them like the next person. So we'll all have our own unique touch on our own flowers. So now, moving on to the medium flower. Simply for the rosebud, we only need to punch two. So this is pretty easy. I'm gonna use pink for this. And again, the medium punch. For a bonus, I'm going to show you how I made the extremely tiny little flower bud right here. We have a medium flower bud and then we have the medium rose. You also could always add another petal on here, you know, another flower punch right there. Going to need the EK Success one inch flower petal with five petal flower punch. You're only going to need two of them and you're going to do it the same way except we're going to need something a bit smaller to pinch our petals with. So I'm going to use this scoring tool. And again, we're just going to pinch this just like that. And it's super small, so we're just going to need a little bit of glue and go ahead and stick it on your other piece. You would just take them and stick them down on your projects, wherever you'd want them. My paint. Okay, and I smudge it over the top of my flowers. Super easy, right? So I hope you found this tutorial helpful. I know, of course, you guys would take your time when you make this, unlike I did, but there it is. That is how I create my little handmade flowers. It's a little bit tedious, and it does take practice to get pretty good. I am still on my journey of getting better. But thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Thanks. Bye.